Welcome to another American English and British English video. That's right. Today we're going to see nine words related to clothes. Words that are different in American English and in British English. Let's see. So the first one is this one here. Uh, calças, right? How do we say this in English? In British English, they're called trousers. And notice that they're also plural, like the Portuguese calças. Yes, but in American English, we call them pants, also plural. But wait, actually, we have the word pants in British English too. But they mean something different. They mean this, cuecas. Cuecas, pants in British English. Yes, but cueca in American English we call underwear. And if we translate this to Portuguese, underwear, roupa de baixo. The next word is this, calcinhas. So in British English, calcinhas are called knickers. But in American English we call them panties. So notice, calça in American English we call pants. Calcinha, which is a small pair of pants, are called panties. So this is pretty similar to Portuguese. Let's see the next word. Moletom, agasalho or suéter. In British English, this is called jumper. In American English, we call it sweater. And look at this. The word in Portuguese, suéter, comes from the word in English, sweater. All right, the next one is this, tennis. How do we say that in English? In American English, we call them sneakers. Notice that we have the plural. And in British English, they're called trainers. But it is also possible to say tennis shoes in both American English and British English. But it is actually very old fashioned. It's not very used nowadays. You could use it. And if you do, you really must remember to say tennis shoes and not just tennis. If you say tennis, Americans and Brits will both think of the sport tennis. Let's see the next word. It's this, fralda. Well, in American English, Fralda is diaper. And in British English, nappy. Two very different words. The next word is this one here. In Portuguese, we call it hobby. It's what women wear on top of their pyjamas or as pyjamas. In British English, we call this dressing gown. And in American English, we call it robe. Notice that is the same word as Portuguese. But of course, in Portuguese, we say hobby. But in English, robe. The next one is this one. It's a uh, colete. So this kind of colete in British English is called a waistcoat. Waist, cintura, coat, casaco. Yes, but in American English, we call it vest. Ah, and we actually have this word, vest, in British English too, but it means something different. It means this, a kind of top that has no sleeves and it's more used by men. It's not very popular in Brazil because it's really hot here. This kind of vest we use underneath our clothes to keep warm. So, in British English, it's called a vest. Well, we saw that vest in American English is college. So this kind of top in American English we call undershirt, which basically explains what it is. It's a shirt that we wear under something. That's it, folks. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Next time you go shopping in the US or the UK, make sure you use the right word for the thing that you want to buy. Well, until next time.